Hello there and welcome back to Lone War of the Chosen. Today we've got quite an important mission. We've got a hack objective. We have to recover an item from an advent vehicle. These can be kind of tricky. You have to come in at the right angle. You'll see uh, we have to hack basically a little box that's in the back of a van. And uh, these tend to be slightly more difficult missions because it's a liberation mission that starts the liberation chain in order to free the region from advent control. We've only got a squad of five, which is both uh, advantageous as well as not. So we've been able to over infiltrate. Um, so we're dealing with the bare minimum number of enemies. They're also underprepared themselves. We will also get a bigger share of experience for each soldier, so one advantage to there. You see there's the van. We have to get in from the back, back angle there. Uh, if you take less enemies out, each unit will get more experience because unlike in the base game, where all experience is kill based, in the Lone War mod it's based on missions. You do get extra experience for kills, which does remind me I do need to try and strive for wet work which is a way to increase that cut uh, but yeah it's pretty nifty anyway we need to get moving over there so we're not too far away which is good i'm wondering if there's a way maybe we can oh okay so sometimes it's best to stealth these types of missions i've actually stealthed one of these before and what we can do here is if there's no enemies down here, we can actually just jump down here. Hopefully hack it in time. And then off we go. Throw the evac right by it. Possibly throw the evac right on top of it would be the best. Uh, do we have a shinobi in the squad? We don't. That's not a problem. We can do. First is use zero actions to get us some ground. Do a little bit of scouting out with Ripper here. I'm glad I've at least brought along a very tough squad. Ah, oh, oh, really? <laughs> All right, well, scratch the stealth approach. We're going to go in for bang. So sectoid, trooper, that guy, that drone. 60% we can just eliminate this dude. I would quite like to do that actually. I think it's worth a try. Did it work? Yes it did. Watch this. I will take him out. It's guaranteed 4 damage as well so... One down. It's a one man wrecking crew. Okay. The rest of you are going to need to do some catching up. <laughs> And boy, have you got some uh, moving to do. All right, Lucas, get moving. Curtis, right. What are we going to do with you? Mm, not down there. He's got all sorts of fantastic tools to use, but I don't see... Uh, we could always shut down the drone. That's a pretty cool thing to do. Move Barakat over here. Do that. I don't know. We've still got to have line of sight of it, so we'll move you there. And I think we might attempt a shutdown. If it doesn't work, then we're in trouble. Actually, no, we're not. Well, I have a backup. All right, yeah, let's let's do it. Oh wow, that's a terrible, terrible hack. All right, it's not game over. It's very unfortunate. Just means it gets a boost to its defense at its. Aim, I think. Um, oh, striking the pose. Do we flashbang the sectoid? I think maybe we do. No, we won't actually. We won't do that. We've got enough flashbangs nearby. What we will do is take a little shot here. Right, that's something. It's a solid hit. What we need to do is get into a position where that drone can see us can see Curtis because he'll just attempt, he won't move, he'll just try and shoot him. But the sectoid can't see us. So here is a good looking spot for that. Sure thing. That's what we'll do. Okay, uh, and you might as well just take a wild shot on it. 
Oh, whoa. damn, that was a shot. Running low on ammo. I did not expect that. Okay. Very good. Let's, uh... Should we keep moving? Maybe we'll keep moving. On the way. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, because we need to get... Yeah, we do need to get moving. I should have given you an SMG, actually, Khan. Yeah, you're going to flee. That's fine. There's a... Oh, we can see somebody up there, a sentry guarding the van. Okay. Heading out. This would appear to be fine. I think we will... If we go here, uh, we, we can actually see him. Look. But have you already rejoined another group? We probably have. That's no problem, though. Let's grab it. Laser sight picked up. That's not going to hold that cover. As you see, it's on fire. Fire bad. So they say. Everybody else. We just need to move up. Curtis has some pretty good health, so I'm tempted to dash him up. Got it. Nice, and we've not activated. Okay, that's really good. Off. Just comes down to where we put our skirmisher here, who has low health. Not particularly pleased with that. If we stand there, he's, he might even catch fire, so... I feel like if we go here, though, none of them will be able to see him. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to move him back here. This is full cover, so they can't see through it. Calm. Just overwatch. All right. Made up some good ground. You're still moving back probably to that group there. Okay, yeah, I think that's the same guy. No, it's not. That's double sectoid we're dealing with here. And the last group is the other side of the van there. Actually, you appear to have rejoined a different group. All right, well, this looks like a good time to launch a rocket. <laughs> who wants to see a rocket? Yes, who, who doesn't want to? Uh, this will do damage to everyone. There is, as you can see, it says plus 1.84. That is basically the possible tile scatter of the rocket itself, so it could end up over here, it could end up over there, it's it's quite a large scatter. Curtis has quite low aim, so it may miss someone. There's a good chance it does miss one of the two on the side here, but we're guaranteed a hit on the trooper. Likely to be a kill. Let's give it a go. Nice, hits everyone. Killed one of the... we killed the sentry, which is even better than the trooper. And it removed the overwatch, so... All in all, I'd call that a win. All right, we do need to think about throwing down a, uh, an evac next turn. Should have done that if Curtis possibly up there. We're getting closer. Do need to start moving people up. Uh, that trooper is in trouble. Now we know there's a bunch of them here, but we're quite far away, so not too worried. Just don't know if that's going to hold. So we have no good way to heal you. It doesn't. You've got decent health. Moving on target location. I think we'll be okay. Okay, 81%. Take out the trooper. Mm, you missed. Not good. Alright. Thanks for nothing. Kind of want to move you here, but you still can't see him there. We can walk fire. Oh good, you've gained one health. That's actually really useful. That makes me feel a little bit more at ease. Okay, I think we could take a 90% shot or we could just guarantee 2-3 to three damage. Yeah, let's just, uh, let's clean him up. Okay. Got some sectoids to deal with now. Maybe we... Mm, no, go this way. 
for a flank in a future turn. For now we just move Khan up here. We've got flashbangs. I think we'll do that. We'll spook out all of these guys here. <laughs> so he's disorientated. He's not going to go for any sort of... Uh, Yeah, he's not going to go for any sort of mind controls because he can't. He's going to take a wild shot. Ah, oh, come on! How many of these wild shots are they going to hit? Yeah. Alright, I think we might just about be able to move Curtis here without activating the last group. Nope, not quite. That's fine. That's not a problem. Because I've lost my patience, we're going to come in and we're actually going to throw the evac down first. Let's do that. Five turns, five turns to go. Good time. Good time to do such a thing. Let's go ahead and use the flamethrower. So this is the other thing technicals can do. Burn. Haha. <laughs> Three damage and he's burning, so he will take, I think, two damage each turn, actually, possibly. Uh, what's this hack? Reflexes, squad blitz, map alert. That's, hang on. This might be worth it because I think it just alerts all the enemies on the map to your location. Everyone knows where we are. Yeah. We can increase your dodge by 25 for 8 turns. Given the fact that you have lower health right now, that could be a good idea. Infiltrating access point. But I also don't see the point in some ways because we need to get you moving I could probably move you over here get you ready to come in and hack might be a good shout okay Ripper you've got an opportunity to do something really cool here uh, we could actually move you up here get you a nice flank on someone so what we can do move you here grapple and you can take two shots on that guy, which would be pretty damn good. But you've got low health. And then what do we do? Move Khan in, we get a flashbang on someone. Up there. You're all out of ammo. Which is why maybe we shouldn't have used Warp Fire. Barricat needs to come down here. Alright, I say we give it a go. We'll see what our options are. Let's move you up here, Ripper. We can always aid protocol him. With Barricat, we've got time on our side. We're in no rush to do, to do this hack. I like this. I'm also tempted to move you... No, you can't go back here because you won't get a flank on him. So we move you here. You should be able to take two shots on that guy. According to my logic, anyway. Right, take out the engineer. Come on. Nice. Can you take another one? Yes, you can. Oh, that was a good shot. <laughs> I tell you, what, anything that's not a sectoid, we are absolutely destroying right now. <laughs> Okay. We don't need to worry about this guy. He's irrelevant for a turn. What we do need to worry about, though, is popping a reload. Oh, yeah. That trooper can see you. That's no problem. What we're going to do is we're going to move you down here. Khan, you've got a lot of health, so what we are going to do, Absolutely. move you in here. And I say we flashbang the trooper. Lowers his aim. There we go. Very nice. And we're going to dash curtain. It's half cover, no. Move you over here. Yeah, full cover. Aid protocol. Up there on Ripper. 
because he's in half cover. This will get basically give him the equivalent of full cover. Nice. All right. And that leaves one sectoid unaccounted for. Nice. Okay, you're guaranteed to die next turn then. Very good. You're disoriented. You're going to take a wild shot on Curtis, and that should miss. Thank you. That was close. You're moving closer. That's good. We can't use explosives near you, though. You're going to reanimate a corpse. That's fine. You can do that all day, mate. That's just a waste of a turn. You're going to run. Oh, you going for the water? Oh, you're, <laughs> you're really panicking. <laughs> All right, good. We didn't have to use Ada Protocol in the end, so very nice. Do need to be careful we don't blow this car up by mistake, because obviously then we blow the objective up. Moving you over here could be a good shout. Can you make it all the way over there? Possibly. We do have justice again. We can't use that on sectoids. I did not realize that. So if we come down here, though, what we can do... This skirmisher, man, he is uh, really good. Take a shot. You can probably kill the trooper. Nice. Then... We can flashbang over here, or we could use a grenade. Either, either, or. We can move Khan over here. Can we just about touch the... No, we can't. Interesting. Uh, ah. We can do, though. If we miss these shots, though, we hit the car. Ah, he's in a really awkward spot. Both barrels in him would be really useful. How? What's the range of your f flamethrower? Not bad, actually. Absolutely. Let's give that a go. I just as long as we don't touch the car, which we don't. But we can touch the sectoid. Yes, perfect. Burn him out. Burn him out indeed. <laughs> He's not burning though. Yeah. <laughs> hmm. Never mind. Okay, as for you. Move you over here to get up this side, maybe? Might be the best idea. That said, we could possibly... Can you throw anything up there? Too far away? Looks like it's too far away. Moving to designated what can you do from up here? Wouldn't mind it if you could give them a hand. So you can actually flashbang. There we go. Light them up. Let's do that. Okay, nice. That gets rid of the size on the because it's the sectoid controlling him. In here, there's no cover <laughs> because we blew it all up. It's just a bit too risky to really do anything. We can't do that because that will blow up the car, so we can't throw a grenade. I suppose what we'll do then will actually come in for a flank, force him to move, take an overwatch. We can bring Kurt in. You could also take an overwatch. You can actually get into some high ground here. Is any of this going to blow up? It might, but we'll take the chance. This will give you a much higher percentage shot, given your good aim. Very nice. So there goes the sectoid, burnt to death. All right, come on. That's a bad miss. Oh no, it was a weak hit. You both hit. Oh, good thing that was a miss. Alright. Okay, alright, we need to clean up now. Now. Alright. You're out of ammo. No problem. Pop a reload. Take the shot, Ripper. Good work. Damn, he's good. Alright, that is actually everyone. 
that's everyone on the map. So what we need to do now is we need to move Barricat in to get the hack. He can't quite reach the door, we're just going to waste a few extra turns. Can you open it from here, Curtis? That would be great if you could. Yes, you can. That just makes things a little bit easier for us. So, yeah, you'll be able to do that next turn. Very good, yep. Yeah. We are indeed. Alright, now we just need to think about bringing some corpses home, I suppose. So we've got a couple here. Sectoid over there, sentry there. Trooper here. Come on, do you want to grab the sectoid? I hope you guys aren't going to come in before the end of our turn. Alright, yeah, we've been a couple of sectoids, we can sell those off for, what, 10 supplies apiece? Something good like that. <laughs> Civilians are always scared of us. That's the thing, actually. Civilians can force you to be revealed at the start of your, uh, at the start of your mission, you know. And uh, that can be really bad, because then you don't get the jump on an extra squad. So, yeah, that would suck. What's the choice? I don't think there's a difference. But we'll bring the one that is more difficult to kill. So it usually means they're more valuable. Alright. On your order. Very good, get moving. Curtis, do you want to grab the sectoid? Not a problem. Okay. It is indeed. It's okay. Good. No sign of reinforcements just yet. Gotcha. Alright. Nice. Okay. That's complete the objective. I guess it was good that we got that reveal early on. And in the way that we did. We could get another rebel. Why not? Load him up. Oh wow. That was the, the complete opposite of your early one. In hindsight, the superior PCS might have been better. <laughs> could have been one hefty boost to someone's aim or defense. Mobility. That could be really cool. Nice. We can grab that one. And we're pretty much done, so I'm just going to clean up shop here, and we're going to be on our way. Well, reinforcements are coming in, but it doesn't matter, because we are out this turn. Unfortunately, we weren't able to grab one of the corpses, but that's okay, I think I'm being greedy enough taking a couple of sectoids. Just two troopers, right outside the van. Doesn't matter, because we're going. There's our evac. Everyone's already in it. This is Firebrand. It's time to go. Let's go. That was a very successful mission. We got one minor injury to Barricat, but... Yeah. Well, I'd say that was good. Other than his miss on an open trooper, that was pretty weak. Uh, everyone else did well, though. And to be fair, he was good to get that hack at the end. Actually, Barakat failed to shut down a drone, and he missed an open shot. Definitely a bit of a, a cold start, but at least he improved towards the end then. Uh, mission photo? Yeah. The Trojans? <laughs> uh, don't know about that. Show him a squad name. It's got the evac in the background, doesn't it? Can we get any with the uh, troopers? I just love it when you get the enemies still alive in the background. Behind bars. Can we randomise this a little bit? Uh, randomise it some more. Yeah, here we go. <laughs> Does it looks like it, they could be in jail if we do it like this? Hang on. Yeah, I'll do. <laughs> Uh, breaking out of prison. Yeah, sure, something like that'll do. <laughs> Completely doesn't fit the theme of the mission, but uh, <laughs> that's fine. Uh, yeah, I'm happy with how that went. So that's going to be, uh, that's not necessarily going to be Khan's squad, but she's going to be the leader of her squad. 
So we've got two different flashbang orientated engineers. That always works well. Uh, we should get a lot of promotions here, so really strong, successful mission that was. We just need to get more engineers and scientists. That's where we're woefully behind. So everyone got promoted apart from Lucas, who's already a Lance Corporal. We got a lot of loot. We also brought back two troopers and two sectoids. And the first liberation mission has been completed. We also popped our intel over a hundred. That's really big, actually. So Andrea and Eagle. Hey, that might work. You two have the history and gears tactics. That I think that's a good idea. Because then we could have like Aaron Making and Bella later on. Assuming we pick them both up. Doesn't sound like the kind of recruit we're looking for. I'm up for that. I think, yeah, uh, not to mention the sniper shinobi combo is pretty good, actually. So I think that's what we're going to do. Yeah, I hope you're okay with that because uh, I'm going to do this. Yes. If I think I'll speak just a bullet. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Just a bullet away. Just a bullet. Or oh, sword strike. Yeah, maybe change the background. Perhaps. It is pretty grotesque. Oh wait 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 uh no 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 I meant to just uh change the ghastly looking background. Let's go for tint the background, let's change this to it's like a brick wall or something. Flames, flames could be called cool. Starfield. Let's do that. Hello. Cool, awesome. So another bonded pair. We've got to keep them on missions together. That's nice. I've still not thought of a name for. So we've got some new weapons. Sorry, Bobcast the Shadow Keeper. We'll come to these as they come. The Hunter's Axe. <laughs> That's a lot of fun. And the Frost Bomb Spoon. I think you're gonna like that. The Axe. I might give that to Andrea. Actually, in fact, that would be really good for Andrea. Actually, we also can get Sammy, but we don't have enough supplies. This guy's an XCOM legend. I don't think you guys understand. This has been my MVP in all of my previous playthroughs. He is... I've always nicknamed him Super Sammy, though his nickname is now The Wild. No, his nickname was The Wild Child by default. Randomly generated guy. Um, but now he's the MVP. But I just call him Super Sammy. Who's at the bar? Vinogradov is talking to Scott. And we have Firebug serving everyone. Or just the two of them. We got our new poster up there. Pretty cool. Uh, anybody up here? Who's in here? We got Khan talking to. Uh, no, it's not. That's Barakat. Aren't you injured? I thought you were injured. He's faking. <laughs> Curtis uh, having the most gentle workout ever. And then Natalia there as well. Actually, this is something we need to look at new combat tactics. Vengeance, wet work. We need to get this as soon as possible. And then we need to get that as well. That's something we need to get. Tactical infiltrations as well is extremely useful. We need an officer of at least major rank. So that that makes me res we, just, we need to start training an officer. But we need to purchase an officer training station. And obviously Spoon, that's going to be you. as one of them. Khan's going to be the other one. All right, we need to make contact somewhere else. You've got six recruits, you've got six recruits. I think we're gonna go down to East Asia, as that gives us... We could get to Europe though, couldn't we? Three to four days, let's do it. This gives us more missions to unlock, which we need, because Advent are gonna be very interested in up here, because we're doing a ton of missions there. Uh, can we put you in Intel? We can. Good, so they're still going to be looking for missions. Attempting to establish the thing I was trying to say is we haven't actually... Find our results have exceeded um, expectations. I haven't actually thought of a name for Spoon Squad yet. I was thinking of calling it Scoop-de-Whoop. 
Just a terrible name. Or the big scoop. That's a good one. Alien biotech. Well, we do need to do that. Five days. Ugh. Well, this research is taking so long because we still don't have a bloody scientist. We need hybrid materials. We need hybrid materials. But let's do this. And we also, I think... Commander, we can Beatrice Rodriguez recruit is now available for recruitment. Beatrice Rodriguez? Who was that? We're not still on recruit, are we? That's not me. We'll need to seek out new oh, you're that sniper, aren't resources. you? If I'm not mistaken. I think, yeah, the Italian sniper. Whose aim is not very good this campaign. Looks like my snipers aren't going to have good aim. Hmm. Oops, that's, I was trying to stop the timer. But it looks like that mission's ready to go. Yeah, the other mission. So, resistance personnel, a randomly generated rookie, another resistance personnel, a third resistance personnel. We've massively over-infiltrated. It's a squad of six with one rookie. Uh, it's scoops and overdrives squad. We've got Clot, who I think is going to be a permanent fixture in this squad. In fact, this could be the basis of the squad. Potentially. I don't like the low aim of our Shinobi, though, but that's okay. Red shirt, another assault, but with low aim. So we need to counter that with some high aim folks, like a high aim sniper. But that doesn't exist in our campaign. <laughs> And McDonald is going to be a technical, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. All right, well, interesting. Okay, well, let's leave it there for now. It's been a bit of a quick one. Is there anything I need to go back and do? No. Okay, I think the next part is going to be on Monday. Oh, I can't wait to have Sammy in the squad. That's going to be so great. Uh, yeah, let's actually take a quick look at squad management. So here are the, yeah, here, this is how it works. It's currently just named Voodoo, but I'm liking the big scoop. <laughs> Let me know what you think. I won't name it just yet. I should also point out I'm going to be recording a few of these before I look at the comments uh, because I'm, I've got a very, very busy work schedule coming up. I'm going to have to do about two weeks worth of content all in one whack, essentially. So, yeah. Anyway, uh, that'll do for now. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time.